just finished a survey of 550 sea level execs from around the world and really focused on three major topical areas. One around strategy and our companies really embracing a different business strategy in a world where data and analytics can be a new source of competitive differentiation. Second topic around analytics production. So the underlying technology, how they're managing data, the advanced analytics skill sets that are required, what does that look like in their organizations, and then really importantly what we call analytics consumption, which is do they have the behavioral alignment to go from data to analytics to insights to action that ultimately creates value. We've been uh, having these executive roundtables really around the world and convening people from different industry sectors, from different parts of the organization to really talk about these topics. And early on that helped shape what the research was that we really thought was going to be most helpful to be done. Uh, and as we got into the research, it's helped validate and sort of refine how we were interpreting the information that we were getting. So it's been incredibly valuable to us, and I think uh, all the participants who have come, I hope it's been of value to them as they've gotten to share ideas with peers and learn what's happening across sectors and uh, you know, practices they can take back to their own organizations. Data and analytics are a key competitive differentiator for us. Um, we've been collecting data for years on our clients and haven't really leveraged it to its full potential. And now we're just beginning to use it in such a way that we can offer our clients what they want, when they want it, and give them experiences that they would expect from an institution that's known them for this long. Data is um, an asset in achieving what you actually want to achieve. At the end of the day, you have an outcome you want to drive towards. If you are a Formula One race team, your outcome is you want to have as fast lap times as possible. Now you need a lot of data to optimize the car, optimize how you drive, and optimize all the different things with the settings on the car and so forth. And in order to have data, you obviously need a lot of sensors to capture that data. And, um, and it's, it's kind of a circular motion um, that, that starts, you want to capture data, you want to analyze it, you want to bring that back into your simulation engine so you can produce a faster car, you want to collect data again, and then you go on and on and on. And it is this cycle of motion. We try to use data and analytics to underpin all of our decision making. So for us, uh, it's all about uh, setting up the right metrics uh, and measuring, setting up testing control groups and doing A-B testing. We're, we're really trying to become a test and learn organization where the, the number of tests and the speed of the tests becomes our competitive advantage. So rather than a bunch of us executives debating what we think is the right answer in a room, uh, for us, it's all about trying to get a test up and running and then using the data to collect that. What will lead to a fan uh, much more likely to open an email? What will lead to them more likely to click through? What are the kinds of messaging that's going to resonate with them? How do we know as much as possible and talk to them at the right time? All of that we're trying to do with data and with testing. How, how we're really helping companies right now is, is um, and, and these are my words, the the digital strategy, the information strategy, the analytics strategy, those are all really converging into one thing. For, for me, there's really no digital strategy without understanding data and analytics. There's no innovation strategy without data and analytics. So we're really helping, uh, first from a strategy perspective, get organizations aligned on what's the right question to ask. It's such a hot topic and a really important topic around privacy, regulation of the data, and that gets incredibly complex depending on what part of the world you're operating in. But even beyond that, I think it's really important that organizations are starting to think about what's the utility that an individual gets from sharing their information and what's that value exchange between me as a consumer uh, and the organization that I am actually sharing my information with. And so thinking about that really explicitly beyond the regulation, just what should I do with the information I have on my customers and what value am I providing back as a result of them sharing it, I think is starting to be explored much more even beyond what we can do by law.